mobility slow. So this is for those of you that struggle with tightness and pulls in the hamstrings, very common. Also very common with tight hamstrings for it to radiate all up here and tighten the low back. Maybe there's some low back pain here and there. So if you struggle with low back pain or tight and or tight hamstrings, this mobility slow is for you. So what we're going to do is start by warming up the hamstring and then we're going to bring it into some very deep stretches. So first we're going to bring it about shoulder width apart and we're gonna to touch opposite hand to opposite foot. So right hand hinging back to left foot and opposite bring you back to the other foot. So we're hinging back on this one. We're not squatting down, pushing our hips back. It's okay if you can't touch the toes quite yet, reach towards the toes. Squeezing the glutes at the top. You should feel a stretch as you're hinging back. In this mobility flow, you will need a towel or a yoga strap that's coming up next. So go ahead and grab that. All right, let's go ahead and bring it down onto the floor. We're gonna be lying flat onto our back and we're going to get some deeper stretches with those hamstrings. So first, before we start that, bringing our feet right in front of us and we're gonna do some reaches. So reaching towards the toe and back up. Reaching towards the toe and back up again. If you can't quite reach all the way, no problem. Reach as far as you're comfortable. Bring it sitting straight back up. If you can reach your toes and want a deeper stretch, you can pull on the toes a little bit. Do a couple more. All right, next we're going to take that yoga strap or that towel, whatever you have, and we're going to bring it around one foot. So if you have a towel, wrap it around the bottom of that foot. We're going to lie flat on our back here, and we're going to do some leg circles to start. So what we're going to do, bring that foot up, keep it flexed, and then we're going to bring circles out. So pull it in as close as you're comfortable, bring it out, let the resistance go a little bit, and then pull it as far as you're comfortable and repeat the process. We want to try to keep that low back planted onto the mat. So try to bring just that leg and that hip opening up. If the hips are too much to plant on the mat, really plant those shoulders into the mat. Pulling at the top. Let's do a couple more this side. All right, once you reach it back up to the top, what I want you to do is hold it right here. You can pull in closer to that strap or that towel. 
pull it in as far as you can, and then we're going to flex that foot up and down. You might feel this in the calves as well, all down the back of the leg. Going at your own pace here. You can even pull a little farther each time. Really getting in that deep stretch. Let's do a couple more. All right, let's go ahead and go to the opposite side now. Go ahead and lay that other foot down. Bring that strap on that other foot. And then we're going to do the same thing. Keep it flexed. Out, back in, pull as far as you're comfortable. Pull it in. Really opening up that hip here. Couple more each side before we hold it. All right, now holding it at the top wherever you're comfortable and flexing that foot up and down. If you walk or run a lot, you'll definitely feel this in the calf as well. Again, don't be afraid to keep pulling a little closer. more. All right, and next we're going to bring it into one of our last hamstring stretches. So go ahead and lie up, sitting face up, and we're going to bring one foot in, the other foot out, and then reaching towards that side as far as we're comfortable. So if you want a deeper stretch, you can reach with the other hand. You can bring that leg out. A little bit more. If you can't reach that toe just quite yet, no problem. Just reach as far as you're comfortable. If you can and want a deeper stretch, feel free to pull in that toe towards your body. For even deeper stretch, you can bring that arm up. Go ahead and switch sides. Other foot in, other foot out, reaching towards that toe. Again, feel free to bring it out a little more for a deeper stretch. Flex the toe, reach as far as you're comfortable. Again, don't be afraid to add a little deeper into that stretch. end it with some forward folds. So I'm going to go ahead and have you guys stand up and we're going to reach towards our toes one more time and then bring it up one vertebrae at a time. So bring about shoulder width apart. We're reaching up, hands together, and then hinging our hips, slowly controlled, reaching towards the floor or those toes. Once you bring it there, we're going to hold for one, two, three. And one vertebrae at a time, bring it back up, squeeze the glutes. So let's go ahead and do a few of those, and then you're done for today with this mobility pin. Really hinge those hips back, reach as far as you're comfortable. Hold if you'd like a deeper stretch, and go one vertebrae at a time on the way back up. Slow 
controlled here. Let's do a couple more. 